Those girls were so impatient. <laughs> they wanted to be in the video, but they didn't want to wait. Are you coming over here or not? Maisie, Pearl. They are not. They are going out on, in the yard. We all just got up. Good morning. Thank you all for the good wishes for my knee. Oh my gosh. So, oh, and thank you for all the good advice. So I have this bum knee hurting like heck. Do I put ice on it? No, it doesn't even occur to me until you guys say, you know, you should put ice on that. I'm like, duh, of course I should. You are absolutely right. So thank you very much for that very sound advice it did seem to help although I had two twinges already today and I just got up so it's not fixed I'm ugh, and I should have cushions on this chair but I don't and I'm not getting up oh so I'm so the knee saga continues I mean not really it literally continues and whatever I said yesterday ditto only I'm not gonna whine about it I don't know if the brace helps or not, but it helps me remember to try not to bend my knee. <laughs> it helped that. Oh, I feel far away, but I can't. I can't move the. T I can't move my chair. Well, I can't move the table either. Oh, anyway, oh, bright blue sky, not a cloud in the sky, so that's good. Didn't do laundry yesterday, so maybe we'll do it today. Today should work too. You can hear the cicadas. Oh, last year, I think last year I tried to do a podcast that I couldn't do a podcast outside because the cicadas were so loud. You couldn't hear me. <laughs> These are not quite that loud. I did not hear a bird yesterday. So far, I haven't heard our bird either. There's a dove out there somewhere, though. That I can hear. We were able to sit out here last night and have our dinner and... enjoy a little bit of the weather and it's actually not too bad right now but I do not have my knitting bag with me but I did make progress on my sleeves yesterday when I played a little poker watched some Miss Marples on YouTube Trying to remember the name of the actress who's my favorite, Miss Marple. These were McGowan, Geraldine McGowan. I like her. She's my second favorite. And the other one, Julia, Julia McKenzie. She's my least favorite. I like her, but she's my least favorite. But my most favorite is is the other one whose name I am totally blanking on and it'll come to me when I edit this and if it does I will put it on the screen but as my daughter pointed out to me Geraldine McEwen and the woman that I like best are much older than the Miss Marple in the book. Miss Marple in the book is is my age. Is, she's about 65, 67, something like that. Almost 70, because she makes reference to we're giving three score and 10 years and blah, 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 and I'm almost there. So, a couple of the Miss Marples are much older than that, I think. Anyway, so I watched some Miss Marple on YouTube. Miss Marple is an Agatha Christie character for those of you who are not mystery buffs. And uh, there are some wonderful stories. And you can just um, put in the search bar on YouTube, Miss Marple Full Episodes, and you can get all different ones. Oh, I can't believe I can't think of her name. 
So anyway, I did that and knit. So I worked on my sleeves. They're making progress. I think I've done four or five increases now. And um, I sat around icing my knee. Thank you for so much for the advice. And wearing my brace for the most part. I did not walk the dogs. Dennis walked the dogs without me. And he's going to have to do that again, I'm afraid. And he's going to get his own tea because I'm not going to take any tea upstairs. Although, I am feeling like I would like to fix that other dress, so I might go upstairs and do that. My, It's my left knee, so my right-footed sewing machine sewing won't affect my knee. Luckily, it doesn't hurt when I sit. I can cross my legs, I can put my feet up, and occasionally when I get my twinge and can't put my weight on that, if, I, if I'm on my toe, it's better. It's very weird. Speaking across my legs. <laughs> so anyway, the saga continues. I'm still annoyed with my knee. But I will be spending the day. This is a boat neck shirt. I'm just checking, make sure I don't have it on backwards. I will be knitting. Um, and maybe if I have some gumption and feel like it, I will um, get, get upstairs. See if, let me see. I'm trying to fix you. There's no hope. Get upstairs and work on that other dress. There we go. And I uh, feel like I've gotten a little bit done. That will give me another dress in my dress rotation, which I'm not wearing dress today. Although I could be wearing a skirt I have. I also found several skirts, but I'm not. I'm wearing some very, very loose shorts that I can wear my brace under if I want to. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Kind of quiet in our neighborhood today. I hear my neighbor talking. And a few birds. Our bird is not here. Pearl is up here with me on this side. And Maisie, can you see her over there? She's over there in the sun. So when she comes over, she'll be hot to the touch, our little black dog set in the sun. But I don't hear our bird, and I haven't seen him for a while. I didn't see him last night when we were sitting out on our deck either. So who knows where they have gone. Our garden is growing, and Dennis's cabbages are growing, and I put, Dennis bought me a mint plant at the store. You know, you can buy mint plants at the store for a fresh mint, or they have basil and other things, too. So if you want a fresh, fresh herbs, you buy the plant, and you just use it up and throw it away. But we planted it in our little planter there, in the hopes that it might actually thrive there. I don't know if those little plants actually do very well. I don't know why they wouldn't, other than they're sort of probably forced a little bit at the at the hot house. But anyway, we thought we'd give it a shot. What the heck? We haven't gotten to the garden center yet because you know we talked about it three weeks ago and still haven't done it. And I'm not gonna be going. Not with my knee. So I'm going to text a friend who was a nursing instructor, and I think she's had her knee replaced, and her husband's had his knee worked on, so I'm sure they have a knee doctor that they can recommend for me, and I will go to an actual doctor. I know it's such an odd concept for me. I am not... I'm not one to go to a doctor very often, 
tell you the truth. Unless I have something happening. And with Corona, makes it less likely for me to want to go to a doctor. But this knee is telling me something's happened and get it checked. So I will. But meanwhile, I'm going to relax. I'm not going to do very much. And I am going to ice my knee and hope it helps more. It's not, it doesn't look very swollen, although it does look like it's a little bit of a different shape than my other knee. For what, whatever that's worth. So, so it's going to be a quiet day. Right, pups? It'll be a quiet day. Hopefully Dennis won't mind taking the girls for a walk. They get a shorter walk when it's without me. But they just need the walk for the routine of it. You know, because it's their do as the dog. They get to walk. It's not really for um, exercise so much. It's more for exercise for me and Dennis because that's about it for us exercise-wise. But the girls wrestle and play, so they don't really need it for the exercise. But they they need it, you know, so they get their sniffing in and that kind of stuff. And TMI, Pearl usually poops on our walk, which means that there's less dog mess in our yard which means fewer flies it used to be great both our dogs when we had Melly and Dasha when we walked them they both pooped on the on the walk and so we never had any dog stuff in our yard that was nice many fewer flies but Maisie hasn't caught on to that yet so which is fine it's not something we trained him to do we were just very happy about it. But you have to have your bags at all times. So Anyway, I keep looking around. The view right in front of me is kind of bright. It's reflecting off the siding, so it makes it hard to open my eyes. Anyway, that's it. Thank you again so much for your suggestions and your good wishes and your the healing thoughts I do really really appreciate it it's Sunday did I say that Sunday the 12th I think 13th 12th of July so we're right in the middle of the summertime here right in the middle of the winter time in New Zealand Megan <laughs> sent me a picture of the view from their from Sheldon's school it was like a snow covered mountain right in front of his school I'm like oh my gosh when Dennis and I got married back in 92 we were skiers and we got married on the 4th of July and our intention was Dennis wa wanted a picture of himself in his ski outfit on the beach in Fiji and you know with ski Fiji so we want we're thinking of going to New Zealand and skiing in New Zealand and then stopping on at Fiji on the way home and you know doing the South Pacific Beach for a little while and then go home on the 4th of July having skied for our honeymoon trip but we did not do that we did not have the money for it as it turned out <laughs> And in fact, we didn't have a honeymoon. Exactly. We got married out at the farm, my parents, that my brother lives on now. It was a working winery at that time. And I think I've told you this story before. So we got married on the 4th of July, so it was a Saturday. So it was like a week, weekend-long barbecue. You know, Dennis's family camped at the farm, so there were tents and... <clears throat> keg of Guinness and a keg of harp and a winery full of wine and so for our honeymoon everybody left <laughs> and left me and Dennis at the farm <laughs> my dad had a boat at the time and so they all went on the boat and went out, you know to Maryland and went on the boat for the weekend or something <laughs> and left us and so we had the farm to ourselves <laughs> 
<laughs> for our, you know, for an overnight or something. That was our honeymoon. So we never did get to New Zealand and we never skied in the July for our anniversary. But New Zealand is definitely on our list of places we'd love to see. We did go get we did go to our one big trip before we retired was we went to Australia in like ninety six, something like that. We were there for three weeks. That was a wonderful trip. And that is a place that we really would love to go back to. I think, um, you know, it's hard to pick our most wonderful trip because we've had lots of really amazing trips. Antarctica m might be mine. It's hard to pick because we've had, like I said, some really wonderful trips. But Dennis's favorite place, I think, is Heron Island, which is a small island in the um, off of... Um, Eastern Australia in the Great Barrier Reef. It's like the m most southern part of the Great Barrier Reef and it's a small coral atoll. It has a resort on one side and a, a turtle re research um, place on the other side of the island. That's all that's on the island. And we watched baby turtles being born and eggs being laid and it was an amazing place and I think that's Dennis's favorite place that we've been, Heron Island. So I'm sure that's on his agenda to go back to when we go back to Australia. There's a lot of Australia we didn't see, you know, it's a huge country just like the continental United States. So we were, you know, that was be like, come to the United States for three weeks and what do you see, you know? Oh, we met, we met somebody who said they had a friend who went to, came to the United States for a few weeks and they went to Las Vegas, Sedona and Las Vegas, Sedona and one, someplace else. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But it would be hard to pick. Mm -hmm. Lots of places to to see and, you know. Anyway, the same with Australia. So we didn't get to the um, northern part, the northern territories, the rainforest. We didn't get to Western Australia at all. There, and there's a lot of beautiful stuff we didn't see. So anyway, dream trap. Dream traveling now because... It'll be a while. So I gotta get my knee fixed anyway. Jeez, can you imagine trying to travel with my knee the way it is? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I don't have a trip planned. That would be heartbreaking. I guess that means I really do have to go to the doctor and I'm not just talking about it. I thought I might be just talking about it, but it needs to get better for sure because when the time comes, which may be quite a while, I want to be in good shape. Meanwhile, I'm sitting at home knitting, saving money. Because I was retired and I didn't lose my job with coronavirus. So, you know, I was all... I had all that figured out. So I was really relatively minorly impacted by all this compared to some people whose lives have just been thrown in the whirlwind of life and who knows what's going to happen. Anyway, I hope you're feeling well. I will stop rambling. Um, yeah. I don't feel like I'm talking that long, but then the time is gone and I'm so feel like I've been. Anyway, 
it, it is what it is. This is how my days are. And I thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you're feeling well and all is well. And I will talk to you tomorrow. And I hope you find peace on a Sunday. And have a lovely day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe and stay safe.